Hey everyone, back with another summary for Hope Port, Season 5, Session 10. The events of this session took place just after the events of last, where they had to kill the mad scientist. The group wearily returned to the manor, going their separate ways. Nisaba gained some sleep, or race contacting his order and getting immediate orders to hide the book and keep it away from death within 100 feet until specialists can arrive and Raphael calling an old mentor to discuss having to take a life in cold blood like he did. The somber moment passed as the next day arrived. A number of the younger mages attending wanted to get into the city, so Raphael transported them there. Orace, looking for new recruits for the Guardians, started to interview some of the other mages. While Nasaba was bombarded by Mary Sue, asking for a road as far as she could put together under the Arcanum of Death. After an awkward conversation, eventually it was come to a conclusion that Nasaba would agree to teach Mary Sue something. Nasaba then went to organize a class with some of the students she could find and run her abyssal simulation and discussion that she's been hoping to. The students seemed to be doing all right at that, mostly coming to the conclusion that at their level they wouldn't be able to handle such a thing and they would seek help. It was during all this, while everyone was out and about, that they all sensed a change in the supernatural landscape. After some analyzation, they uncovered a time-space effect that had altered something 12 years ago. This is some high and powerful magic which sent them off to investigate, showing something called Salvation Co. now exists in the world, a corporation that tries to feed the hungry and works with other chemicals. So. With that, they transported to a point of interest from this effect. Orace teleporting the group, him and Nathan experiencing some kind of intrusion, seeing the cityscape tops of some abyssal realm before arriving. After organizing the students and analyzing this, they learned that this effect was a rippling from something that was killed 12 years ago, a seer by the name of Marshall. Quickly discovering the source, they pinpoint a prison. For mages that they know where an old cabal mate was taken. They go to investigate, find higher mages there who were in charge, died recently, and one of the younger ones is doing his best to keep things together. Upon investigation and meeting their old cabal mate Thor, they found that he was an illusion, had escaped. Uh, they know that Thor was trying to work with time magic to seek some kind of revenge or prevent some dangerous scenario before he was taken away. While Nisaba and Raphael did what they could to assist the remaining jailer and seeing what they could do for him, Orace used his space magic and the connection through Raphael to find this mage. Shattering through a ward, he did find Thor in downtown Toronto, but he also found the thing that was warding him. This tall, lanky thing was in a cafe, unnatural and with a large black stick with a blackened end for a cane it was sipping coffee at a cafe as i had said the humans not noticing and it slowly turned and looked at orice as he viewed him and that's where we ended the session i hope everyone's having a great time i'll see everyone november 16th at 8 p.m everyone have a great week bye for now